Demolition is set to begin on a nearly $15 million project at the former Franciscan Health Central campus. News 18's Krista Henry takes us inside tonight and reports how those renovations will include a state-of-the-art education facility for local nursing students. We started a couple of months ago cleaning out the space um, and uh, you know, furniture, equipment, uh, uh, modular uh, equipment that we use in libraries and in laboratories and that kind of stuff. President and CEO of Franciscan Health Lafayette, Terry Wilson, says Friday even more demolition will get underway at Franciscan Health's central campus. See, you got a wall half out there. Everything's marked for them to what goes and what stays kind of phase that we're in. The renovations are part of a nearly $15 million project at the central campus. Wilson says St. Elizabeth's School of Nursing will eventually move into the newly renovated area. Our goal is, and we're currently on schedule, to uh, open this space for use next summer, next uh, August kind of a time frame, so that new nursing school students will begin their nursing school career in this new space. And Wilson says there will be some major changes to the renovated space. Well, it's modern space, it's all wireless, um, and we'll, be, we'll enhance that kind of uh, support when they get over here. Compared to their current building across the street from the 1920s. Where there's few electrical plugs, uh, limited wireless, uh, the heating, air conditioning, cooling will be in a modern building. That 1920s building isn't. And Wilson says the old intensive care unit at the central campus will now be used to house a state-of-the-art simulation lab for students and other health professionals. We can build into this unit uh, the, the control room, if you will, for the educators to use, to be able to talk to um, instructors and students in one of these rooms who are simulating a real live patient care uh, kind of an event the simulation lab will cost about $2 million. Reporting in Lafayette, Krista Henry, News 18.